to do lesson 4.2, we video. So we video is probably the most popular video editor for Chromebooks. Um, traditional video editing tools would be software, things that would be loaded onto your computer, uh, like iMovie, uh, Microsoft, Movie Maker, things like that. And so they take up a lot of room where they have big, they're powerful video editors. And so um, this is the closest thing to true video editing for Chromebooks, which uh, in Clearwater, that's what our students have. That's what a lot of schools have gone to. So this is a web-based video editor uh, that allows a lot of the same capability. I know some of our teachers have used that already in Clearwater. Um, so this is the primary true video editing tool um, used by schools, in my opinion. Um, so this, like many things, has the universal sign in with Google. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So we'll start there. Like many of these tools and the web-based tools that we've used, there's a free version. Um, and then there's also the upgraded pay for version. Um, in my experience, we found that the, the free version has almost virtually everything you need. Some of the things you do get with the paid for the premium version, you do get like the capability to do green screen, some of the uh, speeds, uh, fast forward, slow motion things uh, as well. Actually, when you create a free teacher account, you do get um, you can get a free, I believe, 28 day trial of full for your students up to 30 seats. Um, so we're just going to come in here and just going to show you some of the tools if you decide to use this. So we're going to create uh, a new video. If you're familiar with video editors at all, you'll recognize these tracks down here. So you see sort of the video tracks and the audio tracks. Um, just want to go through some of these menus up here. Uh, the first thing you can do right here, it's called My Video. You can click here and we can rename the video. So you can rename your project there if you want to. It is cloud-based, so it does automatically save all the time as you're making changes. Um, the easiest thing here across the top, uh, you see the stock, stock media, that's locked. The nice thing about this is uh, it's very clear what's okay to use and what's not okay to use. Uh, My Media is probably the biggest thing. You see here you can import. Um, the nice thing is it does um, integrate with Google Drive. Uh, you can also get files from your computer, so you can import any video that you make. You can also record video. Here you can record your webcam, uh, so you can use your camera to actually record inside of this if you want to. Uh, you can't do screencasting without the premium version, uh, but you could use the, you could record inside this. A very popular thing to do here is for students to use like their phones, uh, they will record the footage, the video footage, and then they'll upload that to Google Drive, and then they will import it into WeVideo uh, using this. You can also narrate. This is a voice recorder. You can just record your voice uh, and get a narration track um, over the top, uh, which is easy to use. A lot of text options here, and the nice thing is there's a preview screen over here. Again, when you see the motion titles, those are not part of the free plan, um, which you come down here. I might not be able to get them because of this menu here, uh, but you do get some of the static or the call outs. You can use those. Um, some of the sound effects, we do have the free music. All right, so we can see some of the different things here and we can hear some of the sound effects. Uh, the transitions, so between videos or between pictures, those kinds of things, and then some of the backgrounds. So then you see there's some motion backgrounds and things, and it's very easy then when you use those, you can just drag them down onto the track, and then you can size them however long you want to use them. If you're in my media, so I've got some pre-recorded videos here, I could drag that down. Then I have my media here uh, or my videos if I'd like to use those. I take those out always. Here I've got my, my video. And then when I'm ready, I can just play. So that's just a three second video clip that I made there. So, um, you know, this has a lot of different options for putting in text, putting in audio, 
um, using various things. Again, this is sort of the, the most true uh, kind of video editor that exists, especially for Chromebooks. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, where you are thinking about a more traditional video with some text, some music in the background, uh, definitely check out WeVideo. Thanks.